what to do when she rejects you. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are maybe you were rejected by someone that you liked, or, or maybe you're just used to experiencing a lot of rejection in your life and you're wondering what the best way of going about it is. Because if you do this correctly, there's a good chance, not gonna say every time, there's a good chance that you'll be hearing from them again. Okay, so the way to handle rejection is number one, do not try and argue. Do not try and convince them otherwise or tell them that they made a mistake. Don't act negatively towards them. The only thing that you can do at this time is be like, all right, we're okay. You have to accept it and move on. Now, you can reflect on your actions because you may have made a mistake or there may have been things that you could do better, but if everything that you've done has been okay and you've done the best that you possibly could, you staying in this position and making yourself crazy about it, trying to convince her will only push her farther and farther away. If somebody rejects you, they don't want to be with you anymore and you're trying to convince them logically with all of these things, you're not convincing them. In fact, you're telling them again and again that they've made the right decision, especially if you were being needy. And if they leave, you don't chase them either because you're telling them the same exact thing too. Why would you chase somebody why would you chase people in general? But why would you chase somebody who has just rejected you? So they told you that you don't want to be with them. I mean, that's, that's one of the neediest things that you can do, really. So being all right with it and being okay with it will actually change the dynamic. A lot of times when you react like this and you react positively, not, don't introduce negativity because introducing negativity does the same thing too. It sounds petty. It, it kind of flips the script on them. They're like, huh? Maybe they, maybe they tell you in person, they're like, you know, I just don't see us working out or, um, you know, I just kind of see you more of, more of as a friend um, or we, we just don't really have any chemistry, whatever it is, you just being okay with it kind of flips the script on them. Like, huh, wasn't expecting that, especially if you were being needy, you just being accepting and supporting, right? And I know it's tempting for a lot of guys to at this point in time, start to throw in some negativity. Maybe tell them, eh, well, I didn't really like you that much anyway, or you're not really that hot. <sighs> Trying to let them know that, you know, hey, I don't care about you. Any sort of negativity will only prove the opposite. She can see through that from a mile away and it's gonna make you look petty and immature. But if you're a high value guy, a lot of times, a really high value guy will respond to compassion when somebody rejects them. Why would a high value guy respond with compassion? Very frequently, like if I find someone that like doesn't want to hang out with me or, you know, doesn't like me or a girl's not into me for whatever reason, I honestly feel kind of bad for them because I know who I am. And what you guys should be thinking, what I think is, it's a privilege to spend time with me. And you know, maybe if I made a mistake, I can reflect on that. I'm always improving, but I know who I am. And if someone doesn't want to be with me, I'm like, wow, they must be going through a lot. I hope they're okay. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> why else would they not want to want to want to spend time with me, right? And that's how you should think too. You're awesome. So if she doesn't want to spend time with you, ah, you know, <laughs> I hope she does well. You know. She must be going through some, something or you know, maybe she's got some issues or problems or, or whatever it is. Too many guys put so much blame on themselves and as a result, their confidence dips, right? So the important thing is to have a baseline level of confidence. Don't introduce negativity. Don't try and convince. Don't try and chase. Accept, support, move on, right? I'll give you an example about when I did this perfectly. So I was on a date with this uh, girl. This is, we've been on a few dates. Uh, we've been hanging out and things have been going great, you know? She was very into me, but the text messages leading up to this particular date were a little bit different. And so when we went out on the date, she was like not acting that great. And uh, overall it was, uh, you know, halfway through she decided that she was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go hang out with my friend. Now the first thing I did was respond with compassion. I said, oh, is everything okay? You feeling all right? She goes, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go hang out with my friend. And I go, okay, all right. Want me to walk you to your car? She goes, yeah, you can walk me to my car. So then anyway, we go down, we, we're walking to her car. She can tell that I've completely accepted it. I'm actually making jokes and uh, we're flirting a little bit and uh, you know, she's like laughing and giggling. And by the time we get to her car, I'm like, hey, well, we'll have fun with your friend. It was good to see you. Give her a hug, a little kiss on the cheek. And 
then she left. And I can see as she's leaving, she's starting to think, the gears are starting to turn. Sure enough, three hours later, I get a phone call from her, ring, ring, ring. And uh, I, wasn't a, I wasn't awake at the time, I was asleep. So she left me a message and saying that she was, you know, wondering if I was up and she could come over and that sort of stuff. So, uh, you know, she was trying to contact me for the next few days and eventually we met up and um, she came over and we had a good time. So I accepted. And you can even see that I, it wasn't like I was trying to tell her, hey, well, I'm not that interested anyway. Like I still was, you know, interested in her. But like I said, it was a privilege to be, you know, with her and with me. And if she doesn't want to do that, that's totally fine. My life's pretty cool anyway. And what she realized was what I realized was that it is a privilege. It is a privilege to spend time with me. And she just decided to sacrifice it. And then she came back. Now, if they do come back, do not repeat the same behaviors that they, you had before. Do not start chasing them. Do not start like trying to convince them that you're, that you're amazing. Doing that will push them away again. And in fact, you should be very, very cautious if somebody comes back in your life. If they've rejected you before, there's a good chance that they'll do it again. So you have to let them come back in your life, but don't break your back. Um, I'll invite them into your life. Don't move and like change everything and drop everything to try and be with them. You know, and if you guys do this enough times, what you'll begin to realize is that rejection, in my opinion, doesn't really exist. You know, it's just people with different situations. And, um, you know, I've been doing this for long enough that I've seen so many women come back into my life. And so many times this has happened with the clients too, that it's just, I don't even, I don't even call it rejection anymore. And hopefully you guys will be able to get to that stage too. So. Thanks for watching guys. If you made it today, consider subscribing. If you want to take my mating intelligence quiz, this will tell you how well you can handle rejection as well too. Uh, there's a link in the description box below. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there.